Transformers Hall of Fame, somebody I've known for more than 15 years, and when I met him, I knew that we had found the perfect partner to help bring something that I loved throughout my life and bring it to life in the big screen, and so I'm so pleased to be able to induct uh, Lorenzo Devonaventura into the Transformers Hall of Fame, but he's not going to come up quite yet because I am just one among a whole family of Hasbro people and others who want to also say something to Lorenzo uh, on his induction into the Hall of Fame. So, can we run the film? Storyteller. Partner. Visionary. Hollywood parlance, sometimes you talk about a producer being somebody who can develop a great script or somebody who's really good on a set. Lorenzo has the innate capability of doing both really well, and that's a really unique skill set. He has been so impactful as a true leader of this franchise. He's been a creative inspiration. He's obviously a producer extraordinaire. Lorenzo's been instrumental in shaping the Transformers cinematic universe from the very beginning. I think the biggest thing for Lorenzo was the moment of inception when every studio in town had passed on this. As an idea, nobody believed that this could actually be brought to life. And he was the one person who went to Paramount and convinced them that in fact, this was a great idea for a movie and that we had the technology and the commitment and the belief in this property, he was able to always create a new story, but always have it grounded in the lore. And that in the second film came through of how we were able to take Devastator and really help propel the story forward and really take the visuals to a whole new level. He definitely knows how to bring these franchises to life. And when you look at his body of work, it speaks for itself. Lorenzo really believed in our initiative and really supported us. He played an instrumental role for us at Hasbro and for all of our partners around the world. His collaboration, his partnership, his vision, and his great storytelling has made a difference in a lot of our properties, but in particular Transformers. Not only is Lorenzo an awesome filmmaker, but we've worked together for so long, I would consider him a great friend. I've learned so much from him, both as a creative executive as well as a producer, and he's someone who's always available to you, which is really phenomenal. He's somebody who can be there, be present, and help to make the movie better as it goes on the camera. That's something that I'm always grateful for. I always know that when he's around, things will go well. Lorenzo, congratulations on being inducted into the Hasbro Hall of Fame. From all of us here at Industrial Light Magic, it's an honor you really deserve. Thank you so much for the guidance over the past 10 years. It's been absolutely spectacular working with you. Thank you from all of us here, and thank you for all the guidance for all the robots over the past decade. Lorenzo, congratulations. I can't think of a better, nicer guy to receive uh, this honor and be part of the Transformers Hall of Fame. And I've thrown in a few lens flares just on behalf of all of us at ILM. Congratulations. This message is a congratulatory message to my very good friend, Lorenzo de Bonaventura. I just want to say congratulations on the induction into the, uh, into the Transformers Hall of Fame. Now, uh, as, as many of you guys out there who are watching this, Lorenzo and I go way back. We did a few movies together. We have done uh, G.I. Joe, of course. Uh, we'll, we'll still be waiting for the G.I. Joe Hall of Fame induction on that. Hey, Lorenzo, I love you, buddy. Congratulations. And man, this is really, really so cool. And you know, you're, 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 you're the producer of one of the greatest uh, uh, franchises of, of all time. Uh, and thanks a lot for, um, for casting Mark Wahlberg instead of me. Congratulations. <laughs> Lorenzo, it's your man Tyrese. I love you. I love your family. You're a genuine, creative man. And I wish you many, many years of creative success with 
all things Lorenzo Diabonaventura. It's your man. It's a bumblebee. Give him some love. Hey, Lorenzo, how are you? <laughs> love you, man. Going back to bed. Congratulations, Lorenzo Di Bonaventura, for being inducted into the Hasbro Transformers Hall of Fame. That is amazing. I have had such a great time working with you these last 10 years. You are one of the best producers I've ever worked with, for sure. Uh, crack open one of those expensive bottles of wine, will you? You deserve it, buddy. Bye. Thank you for welcoming me into this world and um, for trusting me and everyone who was a part of this with your baby. And uh, I just want to say congratulations and uh, no one deserves it more than you. Lorenzo, buddy, congratulations on your induction into the Transformers Hall of Fame. I'm so proud of you. It was amazing working on both films with you. It's been amazing knowing you since the days of Warner Brothers where you gave me my real start. You've always believed in me. Every time you make a movie, you offer me your part. Brother, I appreciate it. I promise you, one of these days, Rasta Phil is going to learn how to correctly pronounce your last name. It is De Bonaventura, not De Bonaventura, not De Bonaventura, not any of those. Lorenzo De Bonaventura, Transformers Hall of Fame. Congratulations, my brother. Well deserved. God bless. We thank you for your tremendous partnership over the years and for your steadfast vision. You've been instrumental in shaping the Transformers cinematic universe. Thank you and congratulations. Congrats, buddy. You've been an incredible partner over the last 10 plus years. And here's to 10 or 20 more great years of Transformers storytelling. together and take them apart. I can take them apart. I can't put them back together. <laughs> Brian, you back there? Yeah, All right, okay, you, yeah, okay thank you. Later on, okay, buddy? <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, what can I say? One of the greatest things in my life that's happened has been Transformers, you know. Um, I've gotten to know one of the, uh, maybe the best company in America in Hasbro with no... Uh, I can't tell you. I can't tell you how many people at that company have become my friends and my colleagues, and we fight like family sometimes, and sometimes we get along very simply. But what's so great, and really, it's genuinely, I've worked at a lot of companies, and I've yet to work at a company like Hasbro, and uh, I consider myself really privileged for having had that experience. Uh, you know, the fans of Transformers have kept me going. One of the hardest things about Hollywood is the amount of rejection you have to sustain. You know, I think every job has a certain amount of it, but I think uh, Hollywood is, is one of the, what's brutal about it is how much rejection you have to take. And, and so often a fan would lift me up. And it's crazy, I took a Christmas vacation in Malaysia to try to get away from Hollywood and get away from everybody. And I'm in the middle of the jungle and I'm staying at this eco lodge which is loosely named on the Eco Lodge. And uh, the gardener figured out that I was the producer of Transformers. <laughs> and immediately wanted my signature and wanted my, you know, do I have a, a baseball cap to give him? And, you know, I, it's extraordinary the level of, of commitment that the Transformers fans have. And I, I think maybe the best story I can share with you that tells you both the level of insanity that I, I have experienced with our collective community and also the incredibly funny life-affirming thing is, is uh, it's a very long story but I'm going to cut it short. I had a momentary heart problem. I was in London alone. I was being brought into an operating room. I was having very dark thoughts. You know, it's like my life is over. Oh my God, my heart. And I go in and the nurse uh, shaves my 
uh, arm, and they're going to they're going to do uh, angiogram. Put a thing into my heart, and she says, "This is uh, Charlie, your technician. Charlie's 39, 40 years old, professional." I say, "Hey, Charlie, how you doing?" He's great. He's, well, he starts to explain to me the process, and then he stops and he says, "I just have a question for you." And, he, and I say, "What?" He goes, "Are you the producer of Transformers?" <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah." And he goes, oh my God, I'm the biggest fan of Transformers. I can't tell you how big a fan I am. I mean, I, every day I would go home from school and my brother and I, we would act out Transformers and we would do this and we would do that. And I was thinking to myself, what is going on? I'm on the operating table. I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, this is really totally insane. And then he suddenly stopped and he goes, well, maybe this isn't the best time to talk about this. <laughs> I looked at Charlie and I thought, you know what, Charlie? I haven't thought about dying for the last two minutes. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, so Charlie then proceeded to tell me that not only is he a big fan who owns 500 Transformers, but his brother, who is such a much bigger fan of Transformers, that he owns a thousand. And I'm thinking, okay, this is one of our fantastic family of nuts. And he said, you know, I'm such a big fan that I own Optimus, Megatron, and Bumblebee boxers. I'm thinking, okay, that's great. And he goes, oh my God. And he takes his belt off, <laughs> and he pulls his pants down, and I swear to God, he has Bumblebee boxers on. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so... That kind of sums up the whole experience for me. Uh, I truly, I love that passion and, and in a business that's hard to keep going sometimes and you can feed on that and you can enjoy that and you can appreciate the fact that you are bringing something to the screen that means that much to people and it gives a lot more meaning to your life and your career and it, it really has been my unbelievable blessing to have Transformers in my life. I didn't grow up with it as a child. And so it's a really interesting thing that it turned out to be, in a way, my return to being a child because I get to blow up things, I get to play with cars, I get to imagine all sorts of crazy stuff, but I mostly get to enjoy your passion for this thing. And that really feeds me and it's one, been one of my great pleasures in life. You know, I so really great. appreciate it. You know, it's so great for me, the, the joy of joys is the fact that you know, I've always known that this should be shared by generations, and certainly we spend a lot of time on the comics and, and then the animated series, and and on making great toys and games and things for Transformers. But you know, you have helped all of us to make sure that that future generation who also looks to the movies to enjoy storytelling gets to enjoy Transformers through that storytelling, and so that's what I'm so appreciative to, and I know well, everybody. It's one of my well. great pleasures, and I have to say, one of the the penultimate things that's happened to me in this is that Mark Wahlberg and I have done eight movies together. And that's an extraordinary track record. That's not something we often get to do in Hollywood. And not only has he become my friend, and uh, I think I started out a little bit as a mentor to him, but he's now my mentor because he's a much better businessman than I am. Uh, we've really become close and to share this experience with him has made this all the more special for me. So it's really been unbelievable. It's sort of the family has grown. And I appreciate all of you and I think of you all as family. Great. Thanks. Congratulations. Awesome. Congratulations. All right. Thank, thank you guys. I think I'm going to turn things back to Aaron. Is that what I'm doing? Yep. Great. Yep. We're going to both walk off. <laughs> thank you guys very much. Let me also say thank you. Thank you. Joy. Your evening and your dinner, and uh, we're so appreciative. Have a great night. Hey guys, let's make some more noise, not just for our inductees, Lorenzo and Sue. Make some noise for them, as well as all of our awesome panelists. We have Isabella, Brian, Frank, and Peter. It was an awesome night, guys. And also, I have to thank you. Thanks for having me out here. Thanks to Hasbro as a fellow nerd and, and part of the Hasbro family. Uh, it's been an awesome HasCon for me. So thank you guys so much. And now, I'm gonna roll out of here, but we're gonna begin with the next exciting portion of the night, dinner.
So thank you very much, guys. Have a great night, and I'll catch you later.